Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And just over the last couple of days, a couple of people have asked about the nudge tool and they go, I don't have the nudge tool. You keep going up to the nudge tool and it's right up here and I don't have it. You've got it. But you can't have anything on your page or off the page selected. So if we don't select anything, there's the nudge tool right there. Nudge distance. And I'm going to go over another part of the nudge. I've had three questions in the last two days about the nudge and other things like your units, your duplicate offset distance. It's because you've got something selected. So with nothing selected, that's there. If you select a text, you get the text tool. If you select the rectangle, you get the rectangle tool. If you select some artistic media, you get the artistic media tool. If you select an ellipse, you get the ellipse. If you select a star, you can change the points of a star. If you, if you have a line selected, you get your line tools. So to get your nudge is nothing selected. Now I've had a couple people recently ask me how I know how big the nudge should be. Well, let's make this circle quite a bit bigger holding down the shift key and let's press P. This circle is, let's make it with this lock, 14 inches. Well, if I was gonna nudge that, I have nothing selected, I'm gonna change my nudge to 16 inches. I'm gonna control D and make a duplicate it, and I'm gonna use my left arrow key to move it over 16 inches. What is so good about this, then you can change this and do anything you want, hold down the shift key, make it smaller, and then when you nudge it back over with the right arrow key, it's right back where it was. So with the nudge, the most important thing I can say, you've got it, just have nothing selected. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.